Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little Harry Potter haul. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, with that being said, let's move on to the haul. This is actually my second time filming this haul. Uh, because literally the moment that I started filming, someone started mowing their grass. And the moment, the exact moment that I finished filming, they stopped mowing their grass. And so here I am again. All right. So I didn't want that noise to bother you guys uh, because it was bothering me too. So I can't imagine what it would be like for you guys. So here we are. All right. So um, if everything is unpackaged, that's why. But uh, these things are just paper cutouts I'm trying to... Uh, finish my Harry Potter office, actually. So trying to add some details. Let me move those out of the way. Um, that video, by the way, I'm not sure if this video is coming out first or my Harry Potter office tour is coming out. Either way, I'll link those videos um, if it does come out first. You know what? Let's get this big boy out of the way. Um, so this is the Hogwarts Library, um, the illustrated collection. So I do have um one of the books already came with these three books like i said they all fit in this little thing um but i had already taken them out so here we are this has quidditch through the ages tales of beetle and the bard and fantastic beasts and where to find them i do already have the tales of uh beetle the bard beetle and the bard beetle the bard oh my gosh i got this from new york and it was really really cool because it has um notes by Professor Dumbledore, which I thought was really cool, but it's not illustrated. Uh, it does have like little illustrations in between by, I think, J.K. Rowling, like little tiny little ones, but these are illustrated, and I am an absolute child, and I love illustrations. So <laughs> um, here, let me give you a little flip through. There's some of the illustrations. Just give you a little flip. Oh, that is the Tales of Beetle the Bard. So let's move on to Quidditch through the years, or through the ages, I should say. And this is also very gorgeous. Look at all the detailing. Oh my gosh. I love this, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Ron Weasley stinks. Someone wrote stinks. Overdue, of course. I thought that was such a cute detail. And this has so much detail. I didn't think I would be interested in this very much, but it's very interesting. <laughs> it just has so much detail like it makes you think that the wizarding world really does exist because there is way too much detail for this to be fake like oh my gosh they had um pictures of all the brooms uh like through the ages and see i mean like how cool is that oh my gosh and it does come with like a little bookmark so yeah i just love the illustrations and everything and actually looked at these at Barnes and Noble and they did have these um they didn't have this one actually but they did have these two separately but I was like you know what let me just get the whole uh collection uh especially since the ones that they had they only had like one of each left and I guess everyone flips through those so they were kind of damaged so I looked on Amazon trusty old Amazon and they were there so let's move on to this one, which is the main reason why I was interested in these books. Because, um, like I said, I was looking through Barnes & Noble, and I just couldn't put this book down. I was just flipping through, and it was just so interesting. So I was like, I have to get this book. So let's flip through. We have, like, oh, the unicorn. We have pictures, of course, for each animal. I mean, the detail behind this. It's so cool. <sighs> so yeah. Very, very interesting. They even have like classifications and everything. <laughs> I love it. Those are those three big boys right here. And then, before I forget, let me show you this. So I did get some candles because of course I want to do the floating candles for the office. And um, I did do the floating candles before and um it was nice it looked very beautiful i love the candles but you have to twist each individual candle to turn them on which is very difficult when they're up on the ceiling so i invested in some remote controlled 
candles. So this will be so much easier. You know, obviously they're battery operated and then you just press on and they all turn on, which is extra magical, you know? So I got those. These are from Amazon as well. If I do remember, I will try to link all this stuff below, but if I forget, please just let me know in the comment section and I will help you find all the items. Next, oh, you know what? Let me just go with this guy right here. Look how adorable. Oh my goodness. This is Ron with the sorting hat. <laughs> and for, I don't even know how many years, like so many years, I saw him on display uh, at Barnes and Noble. And he was just so cute. And I had no, like it didn't have the packaging or anything, but I just thought this was so cute. He was just there amongst all of the books. And, um, but in their showcase. So it was not available to buy. And I searched for so many years, but they were only available at, by like secondhand sellers. And I didn't want to do that because it's just so expensive. And I don't know, I just didn't want to do that. So I just happened to walk into a five and below and they happened to have him just sitting there. And I was just like, I literally gasped in the middle of the store. Like I always seem to do. And um, yeah, I was just way too excited to find him because I had been looking for him for so long. Look at him on his on the little stool, and he actually sits up. Like, oh my gosh, he's so cute! Oh my gosh, they didn't have any of the other ones. They did have Snape, but um, uh, I actually want these three: the Golden Trio, Hermione and Harry. I'm looking for you guys, so hopefully I find them. But they're just so cute. Look how adorable. Now let's move on to these guys right here. You know what? Let me just do these first. Uh, so this is the unofficial Ultimate Harry Potter spell book, uh, but I mainly got it because it has information on uh, the Wandwoods and cores, which <laughs> I am a total nerd and I wanted to know all about that. Um, it is just a small section in the beginning though. I thought it would have more on all that, but um, still very, very interesting. And even all the charms and stuff, they have so much detail like the pronunciation and why you would use it for and like where like in the movie or in the books or even in the games like where it is used so if you are a total harry potter nerd then this will be really good for you um especially for your if you're collecting this would be really nice and i got also the harry potter hogwarts handbook which talks about the most famous school and, I mean, of course, it talks about Hogwarts, right? The, like, so many details, not just about the school, but all the um, the founders and, you know, all the little Marauder's map, all the things that you can find in the school, um, the house cup, prefix, sorting hat, all of that. But I really do like the detail on this book. I really love the look and the feel of these books. Um, they actually have like a soft touch to them and it's just really, really nice. Okay, so I totally forgot to film this guy when it came. Um, this is the third and final book that I got off of Amazon. And this is the unofficial Harry Potter character compendium, <laughs> um, a MuggleNet's ultimate guide to who's who in the wizarding world. And I just thought this was so cool. This is pretty thick, pretty darn thick. And uh, it includes Death Eaters and their dark allies, wizards featured on chocolate frog cards, magic schools of the world, and more. And this is the main reason why I got this, because I love learning about the different uh, magical schools. I just thought that was really cool. Um, so yeah, I haven't yet started on this, but it looks rather interesting. So can't wait to read this guy. And then today, <laughs> uh, I was getting, uh, well, looking for some pumpkins and I saw this guy. And I've seen him so many times, but finally, like I just haven't seen another Harry Potter mug that I like more than this. And I don't have any Harry Potter mugs. So I thought it was time. And this was $9.99. And I don't know, it's just so cute. It's like a little cauldron and it has the school emblem. And I am excited to add this to my mug collection. And I forgot about this wine glass. Um, I actually got it from Spirit Halloween. My sister actually bought it for me. And it says, Be Wild Moonchild. It was $9.99. And I just love how it looks. Oh my gosh, it's super, super celestial. 
and super, I don't know, there's kind of like a witchy quality to it. So I thought I would add it to this Harry Potter haul. I know with the metallic design and metallic writing, it's super beautiful, but you have to be very careful. I think it's hand wash only. So uh, just keep that in mind. But oh my gosh, this is going to be probably one of my, well, I don't really drink wine. So maybe my juice glass for spooky season. How gorgeous. Wow. Let's move on to these books, which are probably my favorite books ever, ever, like in my entire book collection. And I have a lot of books. These are the Mina Lima versions of the Harry Potter books. Um, they so far only have the first two books out, but I'm patiently waiting for them to come out with the other ones. Hopefully they do, because these books are by far the most gorgeous books I've ever seen. So we have the Sorcerer's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. And these are available in Barnes & Noble. I got these off of Amazon, actually. And they're also available in Target. Um, so they are available everywhere. These are just so beautiful. Let me show you the spine of the book, even the spine of the book. I mean, look how beautiful. And it says year one, so that's very helpful. <laughs> Let me show you this one, year two. Oh, so pretty. And that's not even the best part because when you go inside of these books, they have not only illustrations, but they have like these pop-ups and interactive little things in here. Like for example, this is the lady, the fat lady. Let's see. And then if you watch her eyes, they move. <laughs> okay, this is very hard to do with one hand, but you get the idea. There's diagonally and it folds out. They have both sides of it. I really don't want to rip this book, so they have both sides. And I mean, there's just so many little details. And then we have this one, which has one of my favorite. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I have to show you. So remember in the movie where he uses the flu powder? So these are all of the fireplaces he goes through. So you can see him slide down. Oh, there he goes. There he is here. And then boom. There he lands. Like, there's just so many details like this that I'm just, it's just amazing. I love that. There's just, I don't know. I have, there's so many that I haven't even seen yet, but I just love those little details, which makes the book extra magical. And then finally, we have the House Crest coasters. Um, these are actually available on Amazon. My sister actually found them on Amazon, but <laughs> we actually went to, I don't know what it's called, the main event. I think it's main event. Um, one of those kind of fun bowling places, arcade places. And I took my siblings and my husband out for a game night because it's all of their birthdays. Yes, they have birthdays all in the same month. So I decided to take them out and they've used all of their tickets to get me these coasters because they know I'm going crazy over Harry Potter. So um, this is the Ravenclaw one. How beautiful. Look at the details. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor and Slytherin and the back is like a cork so it doesn't slip around but I just love the look of these they're just so pretty oh my gosh and the top is like a, a tin <laughs> I don't know how to describe it but I just love how shiny and metallic they look yeah so these will be great for my harry potter office so this is an overview of all of the harry potter goodies Alrighty, you guys so that is it for my harry potter haul i hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye